Good morning. I'm Bill Cook from University of Arizona Cooperative Extension in Greenlee County and today we're pruning grapes. So one of the questions I hear a lot is why do we prune grapes? Well there's a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost an annual pruning keeps them strong and vigorous and healthy and next to that the pruning in the process of pruning you're sort of distributing the crop. You're determining where those grapes are going to hang. Um, you know, it influences the quality of the grapes. If they're hanging free and clear of obstruction, they'll be better. You can space them out and you can limit the amount of fruit that the vine will produce, which in the end means nicer, larger grapes. There's two basic methods of pruning grapes. One is cane pruning and the other is spur pruning. So if you're not sure which of those you need, a, a really good quick reference is the Sunset Garden Book, lists a number of varieties and which kind of pruning you know, that plant does better with. This is a Thompson Seedless. Um, we're going to cane prune this one. So you can do one or two canes, but the goal is to have them attached as close to the trunk as you can. So I am going to select this and this as my two canes that I will keep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line and I'm going to get this kind of where I'd like to have it. And that looks pretty good right there. So we're going to just tie that up and we're going to let it grow right there. So while we're doing this, I would like to mention that you always start with clean, sharp, well-adjusted tools. For more information on tools and tool maintenance, you can go to some of the other videos here on our YouTube page. So I am going to tie this And I like to thin the grapes, so I thin the grapes about that far apart. So we're going to make sure that we have a nice bud, and these are the fruit buds, these nice fat, I call them fat and sassy. Right there, right there, I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way so we can see it better. And I like to go about, I don't know, 10, 15 nice clusters. There's one. You can see that a lot of these side shoots do have fruit buds on them and they'll fruit. But we don't need that many fruit. The, the vine will not support that many fruit. So what we're doing in essence, we're doing a little bit of thinning here as we go. Okay, so you can do with the cane pruning, you can do one or two canes on each side. In this case, I'm going to do two. So I'm looking at this stuff. This stuff is getting further from the main trunk. So I'm going to cut this off with a nice sharp saw. And when you're doing this, besides sharp and clean tools, carry a little bit of sanitizer when you go from plant to plant. This is a spray bottle right here. I'm going to sanitize this since I just used it. A little bit of Listerine works good for sanitizing tools. It, it doesn't corrode the steel. It's just, it works better than the old fashioned bleach that everybody did for so long. So we thin this down to a second cane on this particular side. So I am going to take and I'm going to tie this one. And then I'm going to come over 
here and I'm going to cut the end back just a little bit. up a little and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to select what I call a donor for next year. So we've got two buds here. We've got two buds here. This will make some nice canes. We're going to take this one, we're going to cut that, take this old stuff out. So with these two I should get a couple of nice canes for next year. So this side of the vine I've only done the one cane, and you can see, here is the cane that we chose, here is the donor. So that's cane pruning. So we'll move on to some spur pruning next. <laughs> 